Let's have a look how Keyhole can work with AutoCAD Civil 3D. I think as you would expect all the standard uh, 2D type functionality, drawing blobs, drawing strips etc on plan, uh, plot contaminations, all that stuff will work no problem at all. I think what a lot of people are interested in is how does the 3D elements work together? How can you use some of the depth related data and show that in 3D inside Civil 3D? There are some limitations but the two can work together uh, and I'm going to try to show you that now. Let's first of all start off by going in and drawing some sticks. Let's select all of our sticks and hit next. Five times acceleration, make sure the offsets are zero and hit finish. So as you would expect at this moment in time, there we have our 3D sticks being shown, etc. Let's just go back to our top view again. Okay, that's good, but I actually want to see the... Uh, the strata in there as well, but I want the strata shown in the Civil 3D. I want to use Civil 3D surfaces. How would we go about doing that? Well, let's just go and use the plot XYZ command, and we're going to go through into whole base and ask that to generate some information. So I'm just going to go through here and keep this simple for now. Let's just go and tell it to use our top of fill. Let's give it a name top of fill and hit save. What do you want there so let's just overwrite it. I'm not going to go any further we have our XYZ file created now that will be it done for us. So I'm going to come over now to the, the uh, Civil 3D menu and ask it to create a new surface and I'll give this the same name top of fill and hit OK on that. What we want to do now is though, populate that surface, give it some information, define it. So we're going to go down here and use point files and add. And all we're going to do now is just go out to our project data we just created, top of fill, there we are, and hit open. Now what we have to do is make sure we tell it to pick the right format. And the one I quite often go to, because you notice the standard one, quite often gets the easterns and northerns back to front so I'm making sure that my easterns and northerns are correct now hit OK and in comes our surface it's as simple as that what I'm going to do though is just quickly come up and ask it to show my surface properties using because I've used five times exaggeration inside keyhole five times here as well so now we just go back and look at it from the side we can see the two working together and I, I can ever want to come across here and say show me in realistic mode etc we can go through the same process again and very quickly add another surface so let's do the same again this time for top of boulder clay ok on that one We'll use the same technique as before, definition, point files, and I already have a boulder clay already done, XYZ point, make sure we pick Eastings, Northings, so we have the coordinates the right way around, and hit OK for that one, and now we can see our boulder clay come in, slightly out of position, that's not quite right, what we need to remember to do is just for visual purposes go through to our create surface and make sure we again we are using five times exaggeration and more so just to make it stand out just make it a different color just for now so now we have our two surfaces being shown so a combination as such of the strips done by keyhole and the surfaces done by civil 3d OK, let's just go back to our top view again. OK, let's go on now and have a look at how we can perhaps combine the profiles in Civil 3D with keyhole sections. Before we do that, I'm just going to quickly create another surface, a third surface. Let's do this for our glacier till, so top of glacier till. OK to that one. And then, as before, let's just add a point file, which I've already created. 
there we go and make sure we have the easterns and northerns the right way around so I'll just very quickly throw that into 3D you can now see we have three layers so let's go back to where we were so what I'm going to do is first of all create a simple keyhole section so into keyhole create string let's do a simple string section and pick there's my uh, section line I'm going to use leave it at 25 meter buffers for now let's say and select everything all my ball holes on the page to the next page and give that a quick simple name let's call that civil 3d already one there let's overwrite it so we now we have our uh, string section created let's draw that on screen now now two important things here is make sure that the datum is memorable so I'm going to move that to minus 20 and my start change is something I can well remember so again zero meters for that so that is, is crucial Another thing that will make life a little bit easier for later on is just turning off the grid. Uh, you'll see why in a moment. So we'll click start on that and now just draw it on screen. There we go. And if we want to, we can come in here now and draw our strips on that as well. So let's just go and find my Civil 3D sec file I created a moment ago. I'll just leave all the standard settings for now. You can obviously pick all your own values you want to use in here and engineering frameworks, etc. But so there we have now a simple keyhole section drawn very quickly. So the interesting thing is how can I get that information now, or how can they tie up with AutoCAD uh, Civil 3D profiles? So let's just go and very quickly create a new alignment from an object. So using the same polyline is we use for our section that's important just leave it as the default name for now and now move on to create a profile using that alignment now I'm going to actually add in here my three surfaces very quickly there we go add it onto the system now move through to draw in profile view now this is a couple of things you need to remember here is make sure that your chainage start point at least is the same zero meters as what we've done in the, the string section in keyhole also check that the profile view height remember we said uh, the datum is minus 20 we've got to do the same here as well so make that minus 20 as well and that's really it if we want to we can come through here now and do some nicer uh, hatch things so let's say we want the top hatch to be between our top of fill and top of glacier Perhaps we want to uh, add another one, which is going to be the between glacier till and older clay. And we can obviously set those to whichever colour we want them to be. I'll leave the other one as light green. So with that done, I'm now going to create the profile view, give it a location and there we have our data being pulled through from the civil 3d surfaces now what I've done here though is because we've used the same section lines for both so what we're going to do now is just very simply copy up our sticks let's just remove the profile line from it and we're going to just basically tell it to use the endpoint snap of that and that's it done so we now zoom in here we have our civil 3d profile but superimposed over those are our strips being quickly drawn and generated from keyhole using the whole base data so you can see though they are using different ground model engines it is quick and simple to actually still work with both Keyhole and Civil 3D together.